Ah, it's our best friend, the Kindle. Looking as crappy as ever, I see. Still the same crappy cameras and screen. Same crappy motherboard, storage, and RAM. And same cheap plastic design. Sorry, on this channel we kind of have a vendetta against Kindles. But, luckily, today we're not talking about Kindles. Today we are talking about this boy. It's an old Kobe Kairos. Two names that people probably know little about. And a tablet that people don't even know exists. I mean, just look at it. Four different buttons. It's running Android 2.3 Gingerbread. It has a 7 inch screen and 4 gigs of storage. And it has, most importantly, Wi Fi. It also comes with free music, apparently. and has plenty of friendly faces all around. Including this nightmare fuel flower. Let's turn this box around. On the back it has all of its specs and features. Like email. Ooh, so advanced. And you can watch YouTube in 144p. Actually, YouTube isn't supported anymore on this old of OS. It does have a 7 inch display. That's exactly like a Kindle. Wow, this boy was made in 2011. Same as the LG Slidey boy. Now let's get to this boy. This obviously has been used. I wouldn't buy one of these new. Let's see what this Manuel's all about. Yeah, getting to know it, thanks for purchasing, etc. Pretty detailed pictures though. Other than that, the Manuel isn't really interesting. It's pretty decent though. Next, we have our bag of goodies. Probably should get to the boy though, that's what most people want to see. It doesn't look too bad. Those four buttons are kind of funny though. And it is a thick boy. I see it adopted those flat sides like the iPhone 4. But anyways, let's get back to our goodie bag. It has all your warranty cards and stuff like that. Here's your free music card. Yeah, the usual stuff you get. Ooh, they even gave us their finest Kobe junk phones. They look like the ones that I cut up towards the top of my desk. I'll save these for the next junk phone video I do. They even gave us a microfiber cloth to clean off the screen. How nice. They even gave us this adapter, so you can plug stuff into this boy like keyboards and mice. It's pretty unique that they give you all this stuff. I don't know why you'd want to plug a keyboard into this boy, but hey, I don't judge. A stylus for the screen. You'll see why we need this in a second. It also comes with a mini USB cable, like I need more of those. And it comes with this bag to put it in. You can see how useful it's been, seeing how it's never been opened. We should probably charge this boy, but first, we need to unravel this cord. And then we're gonna need the trusty iron ton. Don't know why I'm trusty, you haven't charged me in months. You probably have some juice in you, right? I don't know, you're trusting an ancient battery here. Yeah, I guess you're right. Anyways, let's plug the Kobe boy in. I hope this boy turns on. Come on, Kobe. 
Why are you talking to inanimate objects? I don't know. For the same reason you're talking to me. Okay, true. Very true. I think Iron Ton is dead. I told you. I also think this boy doesn't charge off USB. So yeah, I'll be back after charging this boy off of wall power. Turns out, this boy's battery is completely toast, so I have to keep him plugged in while using. Now let's finally turn this boy on. Come on, Kobe. I believe in you. Oh, you love to see that old Android logo. Wow, look at the old Android font. Let's unlock this boy. Oh wow, look at all the old app icons. Let's turn this boy portrait mode. Come on, Cord. Work with me here. I think this is how you used to get to the app drawer. Not a lot of apps in this boy. Ooh, it has Angry Birds. That game was my childhood. It has the old YouTube app. Yeah, obviously it's not supported anymore. Any other screens besides the main one? We have a couple of other screens. This is back when there are hundreds of different app stores. It also has the APK installer app, which is pretty unusual. It's your basic APK installer. Settings used to look like a knob on your stove. It's your average period correct Android settings app. So yeah, this boy is pretty old and it's also pretty laggy. The screen is also low quality and it has terrible viewing angles. I do low key kind of like it though, because it is so unique. This is like one of the earliest Android tablets and you can see how much they've changed over the years. Let's see what the email app is all about. Oh yeah, of course it's not supported. It looks pretty good in landscape mode. So yeah, this boy is pretty interesting. Now it's time to show you how it reacts when it's unplugged. It immediately shows you the low power notification. Okay, Kobe, I get it. Rest now, Kobe. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Remember that this thing is so old it needs a stylus. And if you want to see more tablet videos, leave a comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.